if you are a homeopathic student or a beginner homeopath then this channel is for you i will be sharing lots of content regarding homeopathic therapies combative study between drugs how to select the right cinnamon etc lots of therapies so consider subscribing to this channel and tap on the bell icon in today's video i will be comparing the skin complaints of graphitis and petroleum so grab a pen and paper and be prepared to watch the video till the end Let's dive into the video. Dry and hard skin is found in both graphitis and petroleum. The term for dry and hard skin is xerosis. Now xerosis is found in atopic dermatitis and psoriasis. There is a major difference in xerosis in graphitis and petroleum. In graphitis, you find that the skin is dry and hard in portions of the skin where there is no eczema. In petroleum, the skin is dry and hard be it eczema or psoriasis. The affected area is dry and hard, more sort of a leathery feel. It looks red, there is itching and burning. This skin is very sensitive. Not only is there dryness in petroleum, there are cracks as well. And these cracks, they bleed. So do you get the picture of petroleum? Dry hard skin with cracks, redness and itching and bleeding. To get a clearer picture of graphitis, you have to know its discharge. So the discharge from the eruption of graphitis is sticky. The discharge looks watery and transparent, but it is sticky. The dry and hard skin of petroleum doesn't ooze. It bleeds. Sometimes thick greenish crusts are formed on the skin. This is especially seen in intertrigo or psoriasis of hands where petroleum is indicated. I hope so far you have understood the clear picture of both these remedies. I have posted a photo post on Instagram comparing the skin complaints of these two remedies. <clears throat> you might want to follow me on Instagram. I post daily on Instagram, comparison studies, therapeutics, etc. The link is in the description box. You can go check it out. Now, winter season is not favorable with petroleum patients. They develop chill blains. Now, what are chill blains? Chill blains are painful, itchy swelling on hands or feet. It develops when hands or foot are exposed to cold. And the underlying reason behind these swellings are poor circulation. So, in winter, there is a tendency for petroleum patients to develop chill blains. These swellings look moist in petroleum. They itch and burn. I have already told you that the skin of petroleum cracks may be in eczema or psoriasis or intertrigo. Another type of cracks seen in winter develops at the angle of mouth or at the anus. It is called ragates. Ragates appear in winter. Graphitis do have cracks but has nothing to do with winter. The cracks of graphitis are seen on nipples, mouth, between toes and anus. In general, graphitis is aggravated by warmth. Graphitis and petroleum do have similar location of their skin complaints. Let me tell you a quick review. Eruption behind ears, eczema of the nose, eczema around mouth and chin. In petroleum, there, is a, there are eruptions behind the ears. The nostrils are cracked and ulcerated. In both locations, you would find itching and soreness. One skin complaint of graphitis you never want to miss are the keloids. Now, graphitis helps in the absorption of scar tissues. And these keloids are easily treatable by graphitis. They show good results in the clinic. In ulcers, you must remember the discharge I told you earlier. It appears watery and transparent, but it is sticky. The nearby glands are swollen and hard. Think of graphitis in bed sores and acne. Both graphitis and petroleum have unhealthy skin. Injuries can cause suppuration. Since the skin of petroleum is dry, hard and cracked, scratching on it itself can cause suppuration. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. I would once again urge all homeopathic students and beginner homeopaths to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon. I will be posting a new video every Sunday. Follow me on Instagram as well. I post a daily on Instagram everything related to therapeutics and comparison.